Hello everybody and welcome back to another Escape from Tarkov video. In this one, a fan favourite's returning as I show you what my graphics settings are for 0.14 and how you too can improve your performance without sacrificing your visual fidelity or clarity within the game so you can actually see the players that you are fighting. So before we actually get into the game settings, there's a few things you can do within your Windows settings to improve your performance. The first thing you can do is obviously make sure your Windows patches and your graphics card updates are all done. Windows patches mainly being the security ones, but if you want to do the feature ones as well, it's always good practice. And then you can download the graphics driver updates by going to AMD or NVIDIA's websites and just downloading them directly. If you have NVIDIA's GeForce Experience or AMD's equivalent, you can update the drivers directly through in here. The game driver I'm using is 546.33. I've never noticed any issues while playing any of the games, including Tarkov, so it's well worth the download if you haven't got this one just yet. Once you've done that, you can go to the start menu and type in game mode and this will take you to game mode settings and you're going to want to make sure this is turned on. This reduces background processes while you're playing games and turns things off that you're not using. Basically uses your game as a focus point and any background tasks that are using too much it'll either throttle back so it's not using your computer's resources too much or it will turn things off completely when it knows they're not being used. Once you've done that you can go to related settings and click this graphics tab. This will take you to the system, display and then graphics and then you can scroll down to the custom options for apps. Find escape from Tarkov.exe in here, click into it, click options and then make sure your graphics preference is set to high performance. This will pick your highest performing GPU by default and it will always stay like this. So it won't default back to a power saving one like this one where it uses your integrated GPU within your CPU. You don't want that. So make sure high performance is selected. Click save. Then you can scroll up to the top and then underneath default settings, you'll see change default graphics settings. You're going to want to click on that. And then the first thing you're going to see is hardware accelerated GPU scheduling you're going to want to turn this on. This reduces latency and improves performance. Once you've done that, we can then go to the NVIDIA control panel or AMD's control panel respectively, but I've got a NVIDIA GPU, so I'm going to show you all the settings that I need to change in the NVIDIA control panel. So click on the little up arrow on your taskbar, right click the NVIDIA icon and go to the NVIDIA control panel. Once this loads, the first thing we are going to do is go down to display, click change resolution, and then you're going to want to make sure your gaming monitor is selected here. Make sure it's the right one. And then after that, you're going to want to click your native resolution in the tab here and also pick the highest possible refresh rate it can go. Once you've done that, you can go to the manage 3D settings tab and then you'll see two tabs, global settings and program settings. Global settings will change it for everything on your computer. We don't want to do that. So instead, we're going to go to program settings and make sure escape from Tarkov.exe is selected. If you don't see it in here, you can click add and it will show you it in a list of recently used apps. But if you can't see it in there even, you can go to browse, browse to the location that it is saved under. So I can go to C drive, Battlestate games, for example, find the exe in here, and then it will add it in for me. Once you've done that, under number two, select high performance NVIDIA processor in there. Again, that's doing something similar than in the advanced graphics settings that we just changed, just made sure that it's using the highest performance processor possible. And now we can go in and change specific settings for Escape from Tarkovs.exe. Before I go into it though, each setting has a little description underneath it where it tells you exactly what each setting does. So I'm not gonna go into that in too much detail. There is an old video on my channel where I changed all these settings and explained each one in detail if you do wanna go there also. But if you just wanna know a specific setting, just comment down below. I'll tell you what it does and why I've changed it. Starting off with anisotropic filtering, we've got this set to application controlled. Everything in bold are the options that I've changed. So anti-aliasing FXAA is set to off. Anti Anti-aliasing gamma correction set to on. Anti-aliasing mode is set to application controlled. Anti-aliasing transparency set to off. Background application max frame rate is set to off. Low latency mode set to ultra. Max frame rate here, you're gonna wanna click it, turn it on and then set it to your monitor's max refresh rate that we changed inside of the display section over here. Just make sure it's set to your monitor's correct refresh rate right there. Then you can go to multi-frame sampled AA or MFAA. You can turn that off. 
OpenGL rendering GPU. Just make sure that is set to your correct GPU. For the testing in this video, I'm using my 3070 laptop. Usually I use the 3090, but my 3090 has gone for a liquid change and a once a year spring clean. So I'm using all the testing done on the laptop today, but I use these settings on the PC as well before it left and it works absolute wonders. Power management mode is set to prefer maximum performance. Texture filtering and isotropic sample optimization is set to on. Texture filtering negative LOD bias is set to allow. Texture filtering quality is set to high performance. Texture filtering trilinear optimization set to on. Threaded optimization set to on. Triple buffering is off. Vertical sync in here is off as well. And then that is it for all these settings. You can click apply down at the bottom and that will run for all the settings and apply them to your GPU. You can then close this and now you can go ahead and open the Battlestate Games launcher. This is a brand new launcher for 0.14 and Arena, but it's the same settings that we always change. You're going to want to make sure EFT is selected. Click on the drop down on your profile, click launch settings, and there's a few options that we need to change in here. The first one is where it says when I close the launcher window. You're going to want to click the drop down, click exit the launcher, and then when I launch the game, click on the drop down and click exit the launcher completely. This just makes sure that this isn't running in the background when you haven't got it open. There's no background processes of the launcher running, which will save the resources for when you're actually playing the game. Next up, scroll a little down and you will see game install folder and it'll tell you exactly where you have installed Escape from Tarkov. Just click into it. It'll take you to your file explorer and it'll take you to this exact location. You're going to want to open Escape from Tarkov. Find the Escape from Tarkov application, the .exe. Right click on it. Go to properties, then go to the compatibility tab and just make sure disable full screen optimizations is selected. Then you can apply, click OK and that is it done for all the outside of the game stuff. We can now go in the game and change our game settings. So now we're in the game we can go to settings and the majority of these settings are personal preference but I will go through all of them anyway just to show you exactly what I have selected. So all these top ones are personal preference, but the only one I recommend you change is the vaulting over medium obstacles. I've got this set to hotkey. Some people would like this on auto, so all those small items in raid, it will automatically mantle over. But I like more control over my character because there has been times where you could just vault over something small and then your line of sight directly in a scav's face or directly in a PMC's face. You're going to want more control over your character. Automatic RAM cleaner, I've got this turned on at the minute. There's a small memory leak issue that I'm investigating in the 0.14 patch. It happened at the start of 0.13 and it got cleaned up a little bit. And now there's a smaller one that seems to be reoccurring. I noticed that when having this off, even with 32 gigabytes of RAM in my system, after a few raids, my RAM usage was up at 80, 95% and it wasn't going down and it was all being used up on Tarkov. So I've got this turned on. You guys can play around with it. I recommend if you've got lower than 32 gigabytes of RAM, turning this on 100% and then play around with it at the 32 gigabyte mark. Anything over, you should be okay. But while there's a memory leak happening, just keep this on. And then you've got only use physical cores. This basically helps anyone with a hyper threaded CPU, which is most modern day CPUs. There is a difference between physical cores and logical cores on a CPU. And if it's using both, there can be some micro stutters when it's changing between physical and logical causes as you're doing its processes. If you have this selected, it will only use the physical cause on your CPU and none of the logical cause. Play around with this one. Let me know what one works for you best. I have this on and then sometimes I turn it off and see how it performs, but usually I have this one on. FOV is set to 75. This is just usually what I play at, but you can purely use this as personal preference. And then head bobbing, I don't know anyone that likes it on one, everyone turns this down, no one likes to be seasick, just turn that all the way down, it's not very nice to look at. And then all of these I have selected down the bottom, I've got malfunction notifications, all this is personal preference. Moving over to the main tab now, it's the graphics tab, screen resolution, screen mode, aspect ratio and monitor. All of these should be set anyway. So your screen resolution is your native resolution. Your aspect ratio is your native ratio. Screen mode is set to full screen to avoid any input latency. And your monitor is your gaming monitor, the one that you're using to play the game. 
V-Sync, turn that on in here. It smooths up the experience. I don't know it's a massive drop in FPS, but if you do, turn it back off, not a problem at all. Overall graphics quality, we turn that down to low. It will change to custom as soon as we change any of the settings, but the reason we turn it down to low is because the majority of the settings will change for us. The first setting we change is the texture quality that is set to high. Anything lower, sometimes medium if you have a really low end system, but don't go to low because objects start to blend in with other objects. For example, if you're trying to spot someone in a bush, you won't be able to see them very well because the textures all merge together. On high, you get that distinct difference between someone and the background they're walking in front of. It's nice and easy to distinguish a player, especially at further distances. Shadow quality, I've got it set to low. This reduces shadows at longer distances. It reduces the darkness of shadows as well, so you can see things a lot easier in the darker areas and in the shadowy corners and under trees, etc, etc. Object LOD quality is set to 2.5. It's always set to 2.5 for me. I never have this set lower because lower you get some pop in with things in the distance. Any higher, the maps are not big enough to really warrant it and it, it just uses up your system's resources. You don't want that. It'll lower your FPS. We don't want that. So 2.5, it's stuck there. And then the overall visibility, for the same reason I keep it at 1500 and sometimes drop it down to 1000, but usually it's at 1500. Any higher than that, I don't think the maps are really big enough to warrant it. It just eats up your resources, consumes FPS. We'll just keep it at 1500 and then on the smaller maps, drop it down to 1000 if you want to. Anti-aliasing is set to TAA high. Resampling for myself is set to off, but you can downsample if you want to use a lower resolution and then use downsampling to improve your performance if your system is really low end. If you've got a NVIDIA GPU, you can try a NVIDIA DLSS and quality. If it's balanced or performance or ultra performance even, things start to look really grainy. But if you're really trying to save on FPS, put a NVIDIA DLSS on quality. I don't need it, but play around with this one. It's either quality or off for me. And then again, if you have an AMD GPU, you can use FSR for the same reason. But again, all of that's off for me. HBAO is set to max performance and screen space reflections is set to low. SSR is a great thing for me. I like it. It makes the game look a lot better. You can see reflections in puddles. It's nice. Any higher than low though, it's pointless. It doesn't do anything for you, really. It just eats up your FPS. But having it on low gives you the nice difference. You can see reflections. You can see people easier as well. I sometimes use it to get a tactical advantage. You can see sort of a bigger silhouette of a person if they're standing in a puddle. And especially at far distances, you can identify a player a lot easier. And then anisotropic filtering and NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency is both set to off for me. I don't really find that NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency does anything. So I've got this off. If you do want to try it on, turn it on and boost. Sharpness is set to 0.7. Now the sharpness for the painkillers has gone away. I think 0.7 is a great starting point. You can up it a couple of points, but don't really ever go above 0.9 and don't ever really go lower than 0.5. It doesn't really make a difference with FPS anymore, keeping this on. Before, it used to tank your FPS having this higher because it was rendering texture on texture on texture and just piling textures on top of each other, and that's how it improved the sharpness but it also decreased your FPS because it's just loading more and more textures into the map. So 0.7 is a great point for me. Lobby FPS limit and game FPS limit is both set to the maximum. You can't change this if V-Sync is on, so change it first and then turn V-Sync on if you're gonna go with V-Sync. But other than that, just make sure these are maximum. These two sliders, we don't have MIP streaming on, so we don't have the option for these sliders. But all the tick boxes other than Streets of Tarkov lower texture resolution mode is set to off. The Streets of Tarkov lower texture resolution mode is actually quite good. It doesn't really show a noticeable difference in the quality of the textures in the map. And because the map's got so much in it now, it really doesn't run too well. So I've got this turned on. It does help with the performance quite a bit. Post effects is the next tab. And these are my post effects settings. And they have been my post effects settings for quite some time. Just the values are slightly different. This is purely so I can see things in darker areas easier. It doesn't make the map super oversaturated. It adds a little bit of color and it's quite nice to look at, but it doesn't make things proper luminous, which is what I like. The Clifton color grading allows the shadows to turn a bit more of a bluey tone than a black tone. So you can see things a lot easier in the darker areas. 
especially on interchange, these settings work wonders. Moving on to sound, again, mainly personal preference. I've turned interface volume down because the looting at the minute and the searching, especially if you play as a team, is just deafeningly loud. Turning this interface volume down just helps with that. Overall volume, all that is personal preference. And then finally controls, all personal preference as well. And that is every single one of my settings, both in and out of Escape from Tarkov. And this helps me get tons, tons more performance out of the game, even though the game doesn't run brilliantly. You know, it's the game, it's not very well optimized, but it does run a lot better than using default settings that the game comes with out the box. Play around with these settings, let me know what you think. You usually love this sort of thing, so thank you so much for your support on the previous ones of these and this one and all the ones in the future, blah, blah, blah. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you. I love you lots. Let me know what you think of 0.14 in the comments down below. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.